we kept this kind of longing to go to the States and bring Far Cry to the States, but it's not easy to do. The idea of going to a frontier in the States and bringing you to a place that you kind of know already. And just the concept that the thing that's in your backyard could be even more exotic than going a thousand miles away. And that's why we brought it to the States. I am your father, and you are my children. We have to compete with ourselves. We, we built Voss, we built Pagan Min, we wanted the father to be amazing. A cult leader who absolutely unequivocally believes that the end of times is coming, and that he needs to save as many people as he can, whether they want to be saved or not, was, I think, the genesis for what we built. I think what was interesting about Montana when we went there is we met a lot of people that, that didn't want to be messed with. They wanted to be left alone. And it created this sense of a frontier and a remoteness that really resonated with us. And what was cool about the language of some of the things we're hearing was, you know, sort of, maybe don't trust the government and we can do it ourselves. What happens when somebody else shows up and says, yeah, I agree with you, don't trust the government and we can do it ourselves and I will provide. All of a sudden you create this petri dish, this sort of magnet for crazy which is where Eden's Gate goes. And this time we thought it would be really interesting if we basically create a cast of characters. And you've got, you know, the family. Um, you've got the entire group at Eden's Gate. You've got Joseph and Jacob, John and Faith. And they each have their own personalities and they each even have their own uh, agenda. But then at the same time, you have all the characters that you have out in the open world. So you've got Mary May and Nick and you've got Pastor Jerome and a host of other characters that you can meet and interact with. And when we see those characters come to life, and we see that they're not just AI waiting around to give you a mission, they have real personalities, they have opinions about stuff, um, the world feels real. You're gonna need to get help. And when we were in Montana, we met really interesting people that we imagined could, could really take care of themselves. I think that what's cool about that is that you go out into the world and you meet people for the first time, you don't know them, maybe they don't trust you, but if you can, if you can strike up a deal with them, if you can have a conversation with them, and make them part of what it is that you're building. They can join your resistance, and now you have a guns for hire that comes with you. So when I think of Far Cry, I think about the idea of kind of sitting at a bar, having a scotch, and somebody comes up behind me and starts to talk about an urban legend that happened kind of to them, and they're telling the story of survival in a frontier, and it's twisted, it's, it's unique. That's what makes a Far Cry story. And if I can imagine myself at that bar, and I can hear that story and go, okay, we could build that, we can make that, that's a Far Cry. And I do that for all the projects that we work on. It's like, could that be real? And in this case, I think that bar is actually in Montana.